Hey guys, Chrome Tier here. Welcome to another Warframe video. This is episode 18 of the Warframe boss fight series. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content or if you're new here and let's get moving. All right, so I had mentioned a couple of videos before this that from Pluto, we can either go to Eris or Sedna depending on what junctions you do and what you've got completed and so on, like all this stuff, right? And then, okay, so we already went to Eris. Operator, I've run diagnostic done defeated all systems nominal. Both the Jorah Skull and the Mutilus Allied V. So we want to go now to Sedna. This one is a pain in the backside because we've got to go to Marrow here. But we also have to have something called Judgment Points. 25 Judgment Points are needed to fight Kayla de Thame here. Where... Uh, I think it's interesting that Kayla herself pronounces her name Kayla, but if I'm not mistaken, uh, what's that woman's name? I can't remember her name. The Grenier Defector lady pronounces it Kella. So I mean potato, potato, whichever. All right, so to get judgment points, you're going to need to go to here to Naki, Yam, or Vodyanoi. Okay, so this has Arena. You've got to knock over the people until you get the points right and then for the grenier here 60 to 60 it's 10 judgment points to go in for that one and for this one it's 15 to go in it's just that for the arena let me see that's i think they have higher payouts is really the only distinction for it All right, here we go. She's a good near boss, da da da. You need, okay, so for Naki, you can enter for free and you get 10 points when you win. For Yam, it's 10 to enter, you get 15. And for Vodinoi, it's 15 to enter and you get 25 when you win. So. Points are consumed on mission completion the wiki has, and also refunds 13 points. Okay, interesting. That's a little odd. All right, so you need to have 25 of them all together to get to Meryl. And also, you need to, I almost forgot this, you need to have an AOE weapon equipped. I use the Agnes Wraith. You can use anything with a big explosion because there's a bit of a mechanic that's an even bigger pain in the backside than having to get judgment points and Mesa is really good for this one as well because of the regulators it's gonna take us longer to get there but it'll be worth it when we shorten the fight like you would not believe all right so back up here to Sedna Marrow there we go and then this is the so this is a really long cutscene with a lot of jabbering to cover for you having to traverse the hundreds of meters into the to the boss arena. Well, 800 meters it says anyway. Okay, so when we get there, I may as well jaw about this now. Uh, there's a set of spinning things that have one particular point that you need to hit that's lit up, but there's a cover on it that reveals one at a time that it spins and you've got to hit it, which is going to be most of the problem here. All right, here we go. She's like the Grenier equivalent of like a combat or like strange reality show. I don't really know what I messed that up. It's supposed to go down below, usually. Here we go. Follow. I said usually. Is the waypoint? I see. You know what waypoint is? In my direction, my sense of direction. Ah, yes. My sense of direction has apparently incurred a brief malfunction. I don't know what that. that and so does my oh, here we go. 
This is when it has this weird concrete staircase. That's where you know you're in the right spot, and this weird platform. So we gotta stand on these things, the one that's lit up. If you're in a squad, it'll be one for per person. And that spinny thing, you gotta get so the green one breaks. But that cover only exposes one at a time. So you have to kind of wing it as such. And now Kella's gonna come down and fight us. We get some time. Alright, then you shoot her. She gets down to one third, she's gonna go back up there. And now the orbital strike. If you're at the sortie, this will happen automatically, but in this particular level, we can stop it. I think, I think I messed something up. Unless we can't you stop it. You you Alright. Okay, so when she's doing the orbital strike, like, don't stand particularly anywhere for very long. When these things are lit up, you go there, we shoot the agents, it stops. You go there, we shoot the agents, it stops again. And again. I just barely made that, but anyway. Then she'll come back into the center when she says let's pick back up where we left off. She's gonna slam the center and shoot her. And then it's much the same again. Alright, we're gonna have to do the thing with the spinning to prevent the orbital strike. I thought for sure maybe it's the same. I'm not seeing this get going to where you can't kill me. I'm Kayla the Damn it! <laughs> this is that gonna be the exit once we take care of it. Yep, there we go. Whoop. And sometimes you will mess up. I was expecting and have to do it over again, but just avoid getting shot by the bombardments, and you should be fine. And don't stand in the middle when Kella's... And she's out. Maybe for solos, they have it to where you can't stop the first orbital strike. That might be a distinction between solo play and co-op, I'm not aware of. Right. And as they're cheering, you can just go through the store to go back down the way you came, and because that's the exit. Uh, Defeating Keller in front of her audience will show all Grenier that there right. is another way. Alright. And yeah, oh, they tried to sound the arm on my way out of here, but they were too late. Target down. <clears throat> Assassination contract complete. Alright, so Great. after you do that, it's gonna require a lot of judgment points because you're gonna need at least three sets if not more more sets of 25 if you want to farm up two sets but uh Kella drops the parts for Saren regular Saren so you'd want to get one full set of neuroptics chassis and systems buy the blueprint from the market crafter and then level her to 30 then feed her to helmet if you want to get Saren prime after that so anyway well that's it this is kind of a this is kind of an interesting one because it does require a bit of work and so on and so forth with the the points Kind of like what happens with the Ambulus back on Pluto, it's the same, it's a similar mechanic. But it's somewhat more self-contained because you don't have to hunt for little robots. It's just, in the arena you go there, bam, 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 those give you the points that you'll need to have. But you have to do it over and over again. So, anyway. Well, that's that. I'm also pretty sure, unless I calculated incorrectly, that those are all the boss fights in Warframe that I'm aware of, unless I have to make a follow-up video talk about any of the other fights that I had technically missed but I appreciate you guys hanging out keep on going with your gaming journey and your life journey too and we'll catch you all in the next one see ya